<laughs> Welcome to the Cult Classic Horror Show. Every week, you can have the conversations you've always wanted to have about the films you love. Shut up! Get rid of your distractions and prepare yourself You got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Cult Classic Horror Show. I'm Danny Bonin here with you, and here and uh, Scotty Bonin here too. He almost said, "Here I am." I almost said, "Here I am." Yeah, we <laughs> said that last time. I said it was the dumbest shit. That's why I heard. stopped myself from saying it. And we, and we have our good friend Rudy, Rudy Garcia. Hello, hello. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. So, so we're talking about dead, alive, or brain dead. Tonight. Dead Alive in North America and Brain Dead pretty much everywhere else, else in, in the entire world. And the reason we brought uh, Rudy on is because we all watched this together for the first time. God, how many fucking years ago like was that? Ten now? years ago? Eight years ago? Dude, I don't even know. We were, nine, it was nine years nine ago. Nine years ago. So we used to be in a, well, I guess we sort of still are. We just don't ever jam. We used to be in a band together. We toured around all over the place and we played death metal, grindcore, black metal, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever genre you want to fucking call nowadays, all these sub genres, and uh, we we're staying at this dude Buddy's house, Buddy Lloyd. If you're listening to this, Buddy Lloyd, props shout to you, out. brother. Your grandma <laughs> has good cooking. <laughs> the best, dude. We stay at his house. I think, like, were we in his room? Yeah, we're downstairs in his yeah, room. In his room, yeah. And we were all like. Me and, I think I was sharing the bed with somebody, and, and we had the floor, and there's a mattress think, on the floor, too, or something. I think we spooned that night, yeah, you and me. Yeah, we probably did spoon. Yeah. 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 We're, on, we're brothers. On the couch. Yeah, I'm you're on the couch. couch. I was <laughs> flicking boogers down on the floor. And... <laughs> yeah. But then Buddy's like, hey, you guys gotta watch this movie, Dead, Dead Alive. Yeah. And uh, we're like, whoa, we've never seen it. And we all experienced yeah. it. So we did. We watched a uh, few horror movies while we were there. We watched original uh, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. While we were there, and then Dead Creep, Alive. Creep Show 2. Creep Show, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, we because we must have been there for a couple days then, right? Mm-hmm. A few days. Yeah, two days. Yeah. So, we were playing in Arkansas. This dude lives <laughs> no, in Arkansas. three Ar- days. Three days. Three days? Mm-hmm. This dude lives in Arkansas. And so Hot we, Springs. So, in between our shows we were playing, we just, we watched horror movies. <laughs> so. <laughs> this one we particularly remember because it was just a bloody... <clears throat> Bloody mess. <laughs> so we had we had to bring crazy. Rudy back to talk about Dead Alive, and we just finished watching it again. By the way, which I didn't even fucking barely remember any of it. <laughs> yeah, it was so it was so hilarious. Like, and I guess like I was thinking horror, but this is more of a horror comedy. Oh, it's yeah. just so hilarious. It was way funnier than I ever thought. Remember it being. <laughs> we were laughing out loud. God. So so it was directed by Peter Jackson, who did Lord of the Rings. What, like, how do you go from Dead Alive to Lord of the Rings? And King Kong. <laughs> King Kong, that's right. Yeah, he did too. King Kong too, yeah. So, Peter Jackson. And he, of course, um, Dead Alive was written before all that, so he yeah. was probably one of his first. Filmed in New Zealand, uh, and the lead actor, Timothy Baum, he's from New Zealand, still lives there. Mm-hmm. We know because we were trying to get an interview with him. So if we get lucky, we'll have an interview with him next week or the week after about this movie. But... So yeah, film in New Zealand, $3 million budget. Uh, the opening scene at Skull Island, where the guy has the f- horrible Jamaican accent. Dude, he had like a Jamaican accent, and then it changed. It like changed. It wasn't Jamaican the whole time. It was like yeah. they were walking down the path, and it was Jamaican, and then it wasn't Jamaican. The acting was subpar in that first scene. I, I, I just found out it was filmed in 1993. So yeah. Really? Ninety three, yeah, and in the eighties. That's what I. Thought. That's what I thought too. So, well, anyways, so yeah, film. So where they filmed that Skull Island scene, uh, Peter Jackson used the location again in Return of the King for yeah, uh, Lord of the, the Rings. Lord of the Rings. 
uh, as the Paths of the Dead, which I don't even remember, but obviously you do, Rudy. Yeah, so. it was when uh, the three guys took off. The three guys? <laughs> <laughs> Frodo? Bil- it's not Bilbo anymore, right? No, it was uh, Strider, Legolas, uh, and the little dwarf guy. And the air pushes, uh, oh, yeah. scares, scares the horses. Mm-hmm. The dwarf the guy. guy. Yeah. Now it says 1992. Sorry, I'm looking all all these things up, guys. Uh, <laughs> good old Lord of the Rings. I need to watch those again. I'm not. I haven't. Oh, they were great. I remember watching like two in a row, and then the last one. The last one was like was like a little long. I remember, but yeah. it was still pretty good. Yeah. Well, so they used the same location as they did there. Mm-hmm. And then what? The last little factoid I had here was that the park, the scene where the baby is in the park with the other babies. Which why the fuck does that? I mean, obviously they did it because it's a funny scene. Yeah. But why the fuck would you bring a demon baby to a park? Yeah, that's like the <laughs> first wrong move right there. You don't bring a demon baby to a It's like, has a baby and he just wants to take it for a walk? Who the fuck does that? <laughs> Far-fetched. So, that baby, the baby looked like Chunk from the Goonies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Or he almost looked like Chucky. Or Sloth. Not, sloth. sloth. Well, yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's what I meant. I meant Sloth, sloth. not yeah, Chunk. Sloth, yeah. That's what he meant. <laughs> not Chunk. Lucky <laughs> <laughs> Road. Yeah, <laughs> it was like Chunk. Well, who? What did you say? Else? Kind of like Chucky. Like? A oh, bit. Chucky. Like yeah. a doll Chucky, but like Chucky a disformed Chucky. And then in some parts, he looked like a garbage pail kid. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> it was like they had the baby that was fake, and then a stunt dude who was like five, six, who <laughs> walked away. Yeah. And they're when chasing him. When he's banging his head on like the... Um, <laughs> Like the monkey bars and stuff, and like the in like the uh, little playground, it sounds like a plastic baby. <laughs> yeah, that baby was fucking awesome. But that, um, funnily enough, was so he, was Peter Jackson's favorite, or his, one of his favorite. Oh yeah, scenes. that's what I was saying. Is that yeah. they filmed the baby park scene last because they had like forty five thousand. They finished a week ahead of schedule, and they had forty five thousand dollars left in the budget, mm-hmm. and they just dumped it all in that scene. So, and Peter Jackson says it's his favorite scene, funniest in the in the movie. Which, I don't know. I don't know if it's the funniest in the movie. Some of the deaths were definitely Some top of the deaths and the acting and, like, the lines that were said. It was, yeah. I so, I'm so just going to go from the beginning here. We already talked about the horrible Jamaican accent. Then the, the fake-ass airplane. <laughs> oh, yeah. When he, well, before that, he gets his arm chopped off. Yeah, that's true. He's in Gaia. Yeah, it's yeah. Just funny as hell there, too. But the fake airplane... That was that was pretty funny. With like the scrim, the fake scrim behind yeah. it. You can see the, scr- uh, the wires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the wires. The wires <laughs> pulling up. Scrim in the background. So yeah, and then it was like a real airplane that was landing. I think like yeah. they just took it a mm-hmm. shot. They probably just went to an airport and <laughs> yeah. saved some money and took a shot. <laughs> so then uh, meets the Mexican lady in the the store. Yeah. This well, this was after I don't even really even fucking remember what happens in between them. They unload the monkey and that's it. Yeah. And then we don't know where the monkey mine went. Yeah. Which we later found out it's in the zoo. So then they meet the Mexican lady. Paquita. Yeah, Paquita. Paquita Banana. And uh, yeah. her her grandma with the tarot cards. Mm-hmm. Dude, her face was fucked. She the had grandma's? an old lady face oh, to the max. Oh, dude, old Super lady old face. face. <laughs> Name of one of her songs. Old lady face. Yeah. <laughs> we have to tell the old lady face story. <laughs> I don't know about that. Someone might be listening. No, it's... Uh, someone yeah. already knows about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, old lady... I wrote down old lady face because it fucking reminded me when we were on tour, when we were playing shows on the road. Crinkle face, yeah. <laughs> and we're sitting there. Our bass player got a new girlfriend right before this tour and who lived with us. And we were just... I don't, dude, I don't even know. We're just ripping on her. It was just bad, yeah. We, we, she was we, a bitch. She was she a bitch. Was, she was a bitch. Was just, <laughs> he was in the... It was, was hard not to talk. We're at Motel her. 6, and he's in the shower. And, dude, we didn't even realize that he stopped taking a shower. And we're just freely talking shit well, about we were, her. We were sitting against the wall. Yeah. How were... him in the bathroom. How yeah. could we... How could we have not... Walls. How could we have not known that he was going to fucking hear us? So... Like, we're just talking shit about his girlfriend for 30 minutes straight while he's taking a shower. And then we don't even notice the water turns off. And We're all dr- drudgy in the morning. And, and the things talk. we were saying were like, dude, she has like, she has old lady face. Like, saggy <laughs> old lady face. 
And that's when he heard he heard that part. Well, he heard more. I don't. Yeah. Well, I don't even remember what else we said. That was just the most memorable thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then and then he comes out of the shower looking at us like, like we just pulled his heart out of his chest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck him, stepped on it. <laughs> he just silence walked out. Walked straight to his stuff. And oh, he was like, oh shit. We're all of us. Were, I don't know. Me, anyways. Instantly, I was like, oh. Fuck. Yeah, I feel like he's an asshole. He like sat at that table and just had a blank stare for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. I don't even remember what he said after that. I just remember that just that that blatant walk over there. Like, uh, oh my god. I just remember thinking in my head instantly when he walked out the door and looked at us. I remember instantly thinking, "What the fuck are we thinking? Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck did we just do? We knew. Like, how could we not know that he could hear us right now?" Oh man! So that relates for the old lady. So yeah, face. that's whenever, why. Whenever we see an old lady, that's face. why when I saw a crinkly old lady face in the movie, it reminded me of a girlfriend. girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now his wife. Yeah, now his wife. Now his wife. So much love, much love. Yeah, great. <laughs> if you're listening to this, great, great people, just wrong circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Uh, so then, yeah, after that, um, Lionel comes in the store. Or, well, so he, old lady with the fucking shining maze on her cheeks, she does the tarot card reading, <clears throat> sees death, whatever. Oh, no, 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 sees, sees the star, whatever. So Lionel comes in and sees the star, and she knows that he's the one for her, whatever. And Paquita <clears throat> is in love, yeah. starstruck. But then, uh, <laughs> uh, some of my notes sound funny. So then... Then it, it goes to him mowing the lawn. So it's like a little lawnmower for, foreshadow scene. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah, you, you see the lawnmower before the damage is done. So then they go to the zoo. And the, <laughs> the rat monkey punches the other monkey in the oh face. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and that was drag- like the most, uh, there's so many fake things in this And movie. then drags him through the fence, eats his leg or whatever. Pulls his, his arm off. Arm, that's what it was. Pulls his arm off. Yeah. And then uh, obviously bites the grandma or the mom because she's there spying on them. The controlling mom that will not give it, give her son. And then she steps on his head. Yeah, with the heel. That was so yeah. awesome. Yeah, just crunching her, squishes yeah. the yeah. shit out of the rat monkey with her heel. That mom kind of freaks me out. She's just like creepy old mom. She's. I was. Ah, oh, she's such a bitch. Yeah, she. Is. I really wanted her to get what was coming to her. She did. <laughs> she so. probably makes the you know, go 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 down her like every uh, night yeah. and stuff. Ugh. Dusty Bush. Dusty oh. old lady Bush. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely had to eat some of that Dusty Bush. Yeah, oh, yeah. I guarantee That's it. why she can't give him up. It's her only son, you know? No one loves him as much as mom. Hot aluminum. Hot aluminum. <laughs> like a cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> uh, so then... Oh yeah, so then she gets bit. And <laughs> she's fucking groaning in her bed the whole time. Yeah, then she gets taken back to her bed. And, take mom, take mommy home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the grunting was just hilarious. And then he removes the bandage, and uh, all I have written here in my notes is pink sock. Because <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that's what it looked like. So if you don't know what a pink sock is, mm-hmm. apparently, I didn't make this up. I have like, okay, yeah. You guys you're, well, up. you're sort of like this friend too, Rudy. Well, you're sort of like this too, Rudy. But I have another friend too who like knows all these fucking weird ass names for, for nasty ass sexual shit. Yeah. So Kent, Kaylin's boyfriend, Kent. Ugh. Yeah. He's like, dude, fucking pink sock. Oh. And I was like, what the fuck is a pink sock? So when you put your ass, you dick in someone's ass, and then you pull it out really fast. Yeah. And it just turns their asshole inside out. <laughs> I was like, who comes up with this stuff? Yeah. So yeah, so the the little wound that was looked, on the, as, the looked as if arm. someone just had a pink sock. It was on mom's arm. arm. A prolapsed asshole. Yes, <laughs> yes. And apparently, like I didn't even think it was real. I was like, "Oh, you're just like making this shit up." But then he showed me pictures of like pink socks. You guys can Google that when you yeah, get home. Google pink yeah. sock. Thank you for it later. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, her wound looked like a pink sock. And then she goes to put her makeup on, and her face like starts peeling off. And he's like, oh, let me get some glue. And, uh, uh, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, <Great>. anyways. <laughs> so then uh, then they're eating dinner and she fucking 
spurts the goop oh, <laughs> right into the custard that, like that, that the guy's eating. Like, a, yeah, a huge fat bloody zit. It's <laughs> like, it reminded me of sriracha. Oh. She put sriracha in the custard. <laughs> yeah, like you put some hot sauce in there. Yeah. And yeah it eats it. Mayonnaise and sriracha. Yeah, oh. Campbell, my cousin, be all over that. Sir, I put sriracha on anything. Oh, I'll, I'll put sriracha on anything, too. Like L&L. So good. L&L. Oh, L&L. L&L Hawaiian barbecue. Eat there if you guys haven't. It's so good. Oh, that, that mac salad with, uh, with oh. the, the chicken cot- katsu. Chicken katsu. Chicken katsu. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Gotta love the chicken katsu. It will give you katsu logs. You will shit your ass off. Yeah. You might give yourself a pink sock. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth it. Oh, it's so good. <clears throat> so, all right. Eats her own it's, ear, of course, too. Yeah. Her ear, her yeah. ear. Yeah. She's oh, just God. deteriorating. Mom, mom is not looking so well. And then eats the dog, like, in the next scene. Yeah. Nikita <laughs> comes in. <laughs> eh, like that. that was, <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm here. You're in danger. You're in great danger. Q sound sample. Q soundboard. <laughs> That's me. I'm not here. I'm ready. <laughs> that was the worst time. That was as bad as the Jamaican accent at the beginning of the movie. Lion. <laughs> Doesn't even sound like a Spanish accent. Well, she's coming to warn him because of the dark forces that the, the, the old lady thinks. Whoa, whoa, what's that whoa. sound? What the hell what's is that, that noise? Sound? It's the horror halftime. Yeah. <laughs> Holy it shit. It is the horror halftime. I, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> horror halftime. Uh, so this is where we take a quick little time out to tell you to do something so you can win some free shit. So, uh, if you win free shit, you're considered the horror freak of the week. Yeah. Freak of the week. Now, you guys haven't really been participating that much. I've only given away, like, a couple free things to people who have actually done this. So, if you actually do this, you'll probably win, just letting you know. So just go do it. So if you want some free So this is what you have to do. Come on. You have to create a meme... A meme is a picture with words if you fucking live in the 18th century. With, that has to do with dead alive or brain dead, whatever you want to call the movie. Okay, has to be funny meme, has to be one we've never seen before. And what you want to do is take the meme, post it on your own Instagram, and tag us in the picture at Cult Classic Horror. So create the meme, post it on Instagram, tag us at Cult Classic Horror. You have to be in the 18th century to to do this too. What? That's what it made it sound like you said that. No, I no. said if they're living in the 18th oh, century, okay, they don't sorry. know what the fuck <laughs> meme is. All right, that concludes the horror halftime. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so back. Uh, yeah, back to it. So then, yeah, mom eats the dog. Pulls the whole dog carcass out of her mouth. Yeah. Oh, but which, no, the which, line. Let me mimic this line. Your mother ate my dog! <laughs> <laughs> Paquito. Man, that was, yeah, that was I classic. laughed so hard. <laughs> and then he tackles her down the stairs. Yep. And then when, then when she dies while they're calling the police, you, Rudy, you said she's blinking. Yeah. Yeah, she, was, she wasn't dead. She was still blinking. Which, of course, uh, was just an actor fail because she was supposed to be dead in the movie. Oh, she was blinking. I definitely caught, I caught the eye blinking. I did. So, (laughs) so yeah, they didn't have time to edit that out. Uh, and then she she fucking rips the nurse's head back. Yeah. That was so awesome. Oh yeah. Like she stuck her fingers in her face. Oh yeah. She did that first. So fingers through the cheeks and then pulls her fucking head Mm -hmm. back. That was awesome. I thought she was done for, but then, then that's the first, uh, uh, Part of the movie where we see the demon come back, yeah. you know, you know she's a demon now. The nurse is a demon, whatever you want to call her, possessed lady, zombie, a zombie. There you go, zombie. That was awesome. I feel like Chris Farley show. That was awesome. You know that time. <laughs> you know, you remember that time when when she put your fingers to your, your face and then you ripped your head back. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you, do you remember that on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Chris Farley show. Remember when you were in the Beatles? He's talking to Paul McCartney. Yeah. It, and he said, well, I forgot what he said. When they said, Paul, you, said you were dead, but you really weren't, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was true, right? That, no, that, you weren't really dead, right? Yeah, you were dead. That was a hoax, right? Oh, yeah. That's what that, was, that was a hoax, right? <laughs> and he says something about one of the lyrics. He's like, 
He's like, remember when you said that? I don't even remember true what it was. Love. It was like, true love always wins. And he's like, yeah, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, awesome. Just, <laughs> oh, stupid. Oh. Oh. It's all right, Chris. It's all right. <laughs> All right. So we'll anyway, to the, to the side note: here. when we watched, uh, when we watched whatever I am Chris Farley, that special on mm-hmm. on Comedy Central, they said that that show was the most like he actually is the Chris Farley show. Like mm-hmm. he is around people. He's so timid and yeah, he's anyways. very he's timid and ADD and stuff. Yeah. We'll talk about Chris Farley when we launch cult classic comedy. He's one of our faves. So you guys, sometime in the near, in the few distant future, who the fuck knows. Yeah. Anyways, you'll you'll hear it at some point. So the then, um, <clears throat> why did I write this? Oh, <laughs> I wrote down they went to the Nazi veterinarian, and I wrote Dash Scotty because he looked like Scotty. Oh, the bald. <laughs> Only because he's bald. The bald doctor <laughs> slash Nazi that gives him the tranquilizer. He drools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very strict Nazi accents kind of like this. Sorry. Was that a gay Ooh. Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a gay Nazi. Yeah. So yeah, he gets he gets he gets the uh, tranquilizer tranquilizer from the the doctor. Was there really nothing until I wrote my neck? I wrote bloodcock next when the greaser gets gets eaten. The greaser. You know he's in the cemetery. So they have the mom's funeral. Yeah, Yeah. they have the mom's funeral. Freaking embalming fluid leaks out, and her eyeballs pop out. And then he's trying to get to her to give her the tranquilizer, and they fall through the glass, and it looks like he's humping the dead body. But then he goes to the cemetery to dig her up, and yeah. then the guys grab him and start yeah. beating him up. Start beating him up, and they pee in the mom's grave yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and, grab his, and she grabs his cock and, like, sucks him down, and then there's, like, this blood flood, this pool of blood. Yeah, like Evil Dead style. Yeah, the, the oh. Evil Dead dubs it the blood flood, so now I'm calling everything with a lot of blood the blood flood. The fire hose. So, yeah, he gets his... He had a lot of blood in that cock. Oh god, yeah, that was pumped full of blood. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's like me when I'm good and ready to go. I I got that much blood coming out. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> but then and then of course all that happens and then the freaking uh preacher dude is like kung fu master. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Jumps down, I fight for God or whatever he said. I was, all I could think about when he started kicking ass was that quote from uh Dust Till Dawn. That faithless preacher? Yeah, are you a faithless preacher? Our mean motherfucking servant of God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yep. Yep, classic so, line. I don't know why. Just he kicks an ass, but then he obviously he got, got fingered from, right in the ass. He got fingered right in the ass. By the statue. The zombie. Well, yeah. it went right up his yeah. back, I guess. The zombie guy the throws him. It's so, funnier when it, if it's, you know, yeah. goes right. It's funnier finger, if he gets fingered, fingered in, the in the ass, yeah. Uh, then I. What the fuck did I write here? God, the doctor keeps walking when Porquita's gone. Oh, that's when that guy, that's when they're when she's strolling with the new boyfriend, the doctor guy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. By the party house, they're ha- so then. <laughs> Miles' uncle fucking bribes him into getting the house, yeah, and, and he it, invites all his friends over, and, and they course, start partying. Of course, Lionel brings all the dead zombies downstairs. And oh yeah, has them in the basement. Starts to take care of them and. Which is weird as hell. So then Paquita and the doctor are walking by the house. They see a party. And she like goes to the party while he's talking. And then yeah. He like doesn't even give a fuck. Yeah. He just leaves. He keeps talking. So I might be the next Bart Scott. And he's, he's like, like where is um, he? Had you remembered what he said? Yeah. Who's, I'm going to be the next Bart who's Scott. Who's Bart Scott? He's a quarterback. For what? He was the quarterback for like the uh, Cowboys. That's or Bart Starr. Or Bart Starr. Yeah. Or Bart Scott. Or he, it's, not, it's not like you said Bond Scott. I thought I said Bart. Uh, I, I thought know. there was a Bart Scott quarterback at some point, but I have no idea. Well, there's leaves in my. <laughs> That's actually those have actually been under your hood for a while. Really? <laughs> those leaves, like for two hours, I just never told you. Really? I oh, noticed sure. earlier today. <laughs> I probably don't. Ah, oh. uh, the cleaning lady will be here yeah. on Friday. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Scotty had leaves on his hood for like four hours. Yeah. No one, no, no, none of us Scott told him. <laughs> Bastards. Didn't none tell of us me. told him. He was so embarrassed. I have a red face right now. I'm very embarrassed. As red as this book I'm holding. Yeah. You guys can't see me though. So that yeah. sucks for you. His notebook is red. Now, do I fucking have to explain everything now? Yeah. <laughs> well, this isn't a video that we're doing here. <laughs> so, anyways... So those, yeah, the so doctor goes, just walks away. Like, 
He doesn't notice that she walks away, then he looks around and she's gone, and he's like, eh, whatever. That would never happen in real life. He's like, Where, where'd she go? Honey, oh, well, wait. Oh, well. <laughs> he was kind of fooled himself, so that, that uh, probably happens. So then I have a fucking, I just have a long list of how people die. Well, that's when everything starts <laughs> happening. They, she goes in there, and then all bloody hell breaks loose, and that's what the gruesomest part of the movie is. It's so awesome. Like... I don't, I don't know what they used, and we probably could have looked it up, so fuck you guys, but I don't know what they're splattering him with throughout the shooting of this movie, but I don't even care, like, even, that would even be annoying and nasty to me, you know? It was probably just, like, caro syrup and dog food or something, probably. I don't know. Water yeah. jello or something. Yeah, but jeez, he was fucking covered. It was, it was like, yeah, or like, like oatmeal that was like grounded it up and dyed uh, lead co- like color red or something. I only <laughs> say uh, dog food and carol syrup because that's exactly what they used in Evil Dead. So I went We just need to quit fucking talking about Evil Dead. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just love it too much that I can't. I gotta slip it into every episode mm-hmm. no matter what movie we're talking about. You gotta slip so, it in for sure. You always have to slip it in gently. Yeah. <laughs> just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's all I'm doing. I'm mentioning it. It's like I'm just slipping the tip in. <laughs> Yep. So, um So yeah, there's a list of I mean so much Yeah, so what? Happening. I got I got rib cage. What, why did I write rib cage? Did I got the rib cage torn out? I had the, the greaser again that had the his cock done, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then Oh no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was the dude behind the door. The door falls on The door him. falls on oh, yeah. the greaser and guy then, pulls. Yeah, the greaser. Yeah, cage. the gre- Okay, so it is the greaser. The greaser yeah. guy pulls his rib cage out of his body. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That would suck. Uh and then the next one, the guy like gets defaced, like they well, grabs his hair, pulls his face off. His, yeah, his well, skin. she's like pulling his hair, I think, and it like drags the whole skin off his yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, which was awesome. And then the girl um, <laughs> punches the guy through the back of the head, and, then oh, yeah, and her arm so goes sick. through her mouth. The or, yeah, the no, arm. Yeah, the guy the punches the, through the back of her head through the her reason, mouth. Oh, the guy the punches. Punch. Does it. Yeah, the greaser, the greaser punches the yeah. girl. He's all over the place. Yeah. He punches the girl to the back of the head, I, I think. God yeah. damn. Yeah. He is all over the place. And right through her mouth. Yeah. Yeah. He that girl fisted her mouth. But she turned into a mannequin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much instantly. Because <laughs> then he grabs the other girl with the yeah. hand that's through mm-hmm. the mannequin's head. So then I have skeleton legs. <laughs> so oh, yeah. like pulling him through the pu- the dumb waiter or whatever that was. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the the half door that goes down. Yeah. They pull him through and his skeleton legs are still wiggling. That's so awesome. And he tore all of his flesh off. It was actually sort of bones. like my legs. I have chicken legs. Yeah. And it reminded me. <laughs> skeleton legs. Yeah. Definitely similar. Definitely similar. So. Those aren't bloody and, and dripping with flesh. No. No. Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I, last night when I did my wife on her period, that's a different yeah. story. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> So you're definitely bloody and dripping Don't with flesh. Me. Now you guys are visualizing that. Goodness gracious. Oh, sorry, Shannon, if you're listening to this. Thing. Bloody mess here. really happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So then, uh... <laughs> well, there's the girl that, uh, that gets shoved onto the light bulb. And I'm not even there yet. Face God damn. brightens up. I'm, I'm just, going down the list here. I'm just throwing things out, man. Oh, so I had skeleton legs and then fists through mouth. So oh. yeah, they must have happened in that yeah. oh, order. Yeah. And then I have light up face. See, I was I was in the right order. I was in the right <laughs> all order. All right, all right. I should just read your paper. So yeah, then the girl gets her gets her light up face. Basically, yeah. they mm-hmm. shove her head onto a light bulb and her head. Yeah. Up. She and turns into one of those like Chinese <clears throat> globe. Li- you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's yeah. like a like a paper mache like a, not even paper but like a paper ball that lights up. Yeah, yeah. like like in the That's movie Tangled, yeah. they throw a bunch of them off. You know? Like a garden lantern. What the fuck? Yeah, we're talking yeah. about Dead Alive and you just talked about the movie Tank. I had, sorry, man. I had to throw a little bit of that in there. <laughs> he watches too many Disney movies with his fiance now. Dude, yep. Newly, newly uh, in- engaged. We have to pause the show. Congratulations yeah. to Scotty who just got engaged like three days ago. Thank now. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, engaged three days ago in New York City in Central Park. Yep. Yeah, it was the perfect picture moment. Finally, after seven years, did it. Yeah. <laughs> And then got engaged afterwards. Yeah, did it. Uh, Finally, for seven years, did it. Then got, got engaged. Joke. That was a big Scott joke. It was. It was. That's great my time. stepdad, by the way. So if we ever tell a bad joke, can we say it was a big Scott joke? That's just. He's our stepdad. He tells yeah, horrible. He tells jokes. really bad jokes. Uh. So, anyways. <laughs> so the greaser. Before this happens, the the greaser. How did we get? What the, what the? Oh, I was talking about tangled. That's why we got on that. So then, <laughs> what are you gonna say? 
the greaser kicks open the door, and then t um, Lionel, then he cl crawls towards Lionel, and he gets caught. Lionel pushes him down on the door slivers. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, like, I had seen, I was desensitized by that point that I didn't really give a shit about that one. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It was like door slivers through the waist, whatever. <laughs> then his innards fall out. Oh, uh, yeah. Did they? Yeah, they come alive. They started farting. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. that's what I have next. His I have organs. asshole farts yeah. on my list. His <laughs> organs. Oh, yeah. His, like, That anal, was actually his hilarious. His anal O-ring came out. His, yeah, his, his, like, intestinal tract had a life of its own and then was farting as well. <laughs> that, that was, was fucking so awesome. And so freaking funny. <laughs> that's um, definitely what mine would do if they were out and about. Mm -hmm. Be farting all the time. They would have a lot of activity going on. So yeah, they're like, those things are like a, a lead role in the last half of the movie. Yeah. His intestines. Crawling up in the attic towards it's him. It's like chases Lionel for a solid 15 minutes. They wouldn't die. When he no. drops through the roof from the from the attic and they like pull him up and stuff. Yeah, that thing was angry. <laughs> angry intestines. I've had those before. <laughs> oh yeah. Angry intestines after some Taco Bell. Oh, oh yeah. that's the worst. Yeah. I don't know. What's, what Chicken gives you wings. shits the worst? Taco Bell. Does it? Butt pee, man. Dude. <laughs> For sure. I, so, I have like... So, you know how people... Okay, my wife says this all the time. And it's maybe it's true. But I always eat something. Like, I eat a lot. Like a Chipotle burrito or something else. And it's no fail. I just have to shit, like, you know, 40 minutes later. Yeah. Or something. And my wife's always like, it's not from the food you ate. It takes, like, a whole day to that's digest. What, and you're not, that's what Liz says to she's me. She's like, it's not... And whenever I bring it up, whenever I'm like, oh, that, that Chipotle, I gotta take a shit. She's like, no, no. It's it's like the next day. It's It takes hours. I'm like, how come whenever I eat something big, I just have to shit 40 minutes later? It's mm -hmm. like, I think... I don't know. Or unless it's it, like... It's pushing... And yeah. Unless yeah, it's like Play-Doh play-placing my shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pushing the food you ate the, the, the day before down to go out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like, like I put, you know, I put the different uh, shape cutters on my asshole, like the Play-Doh play place. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the stars. Yeah, there's like a star one. And half moon. Yeah, half moon. And, uh. and then you just eat the Chipotle and you shove the food down. Oh my God. And it just Sorry, ladies, play those out your you. shit into awesome... <laughs> Awesome uh, star-shaped logs. Chicken wings <laughs> does it for me. The spicy chicken wings does it, does it for me. But I don't think I'm alone. And whenever I eat, I have to shit 40 minutes later. Like a big... Like, not if I eat a banana or something. But if I eat, like, a Chipotle burrito. Or all you can eat. I have to buffet. shit 40 minutes later. Uh, on the dot. I'm, I'm the same way. So if I eat eggs, you're not alone. If I eat eggs, it's immediately... I Is it? Shit. Yeah. <clears throat> like, like or like 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm allergic to eggs. Does your wife go... It takes hours. No. She doesn't. She's like, why are you eating it? You know it's going to make you shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's so good. It's like I want to shit. I yeah. want to shit. That's why I eat it. I sometimes, it. sometimes I, I just love <laughs> shitting though. Huh? Even if it's butt pee and you're sitting there and just, <laughs> it's just coming out and like, so, and you're just like, ah, this isn't life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> you're scrolling Facebook. Yeah. Anyways, we talked about shit for long enough, I guess. Yeah, let's let's move on. There's, there's <clears> a lot of, well, it got started with the intestines that fart, so, yeah. So then I put... What the fuck does that say? Oh, Chop Happy. That was when the... Oh, that the, cool shot with the... Oh, yeah. With the uncle, uncle Lionel's the uncle. butcher knives. Yeah, so Lionel's uncle, who... I really hate in the Too beginning. guy. But uh, he turned into sort of a badass. Yeah, a little bit. Did. A little bit of a badass. And they had that awesome shot of the camera back up to him where he's... He has like the Chopping. meat cleaver in one yeah. hand and the knife in the other hand. And he basically <laughs> chops up a whole pile of dead zombies. Yep. So he did a good job there at least. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and then, I mean, that pretty much gives way to the legendary lawnmower scene. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah, everyone's possessed at that point. Yeah. Zombified. They're not possessed. They're zombified. They're zombified. They have a disease. Yeah, that's but in right. the middle of all that, that's right. That half that guy's head. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Sliding around the floor. Yeah. That, that guy looked like like Charlie Chaplin head or something. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, the head keeps sliding around like a, and stuff. It was like a hipster head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hipster head. Yep. It basically was. Yeah. And then the infamous lawnmower scene. That's when you see like a lot of the uh, oatmeal blood. Oh god, all it was place. all over him. Oh. Timothy Baum was a trooper. Oh that. yeah. That scene lasted around. forever. That was like. Yeah, I mean. Oh my god. Let's just put it out there now that there's no like the lawnmower would clog up on the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Like, it would probably take a finger off, and then when you go... Yeah. But, just for the sake of the movie, it was fucking awesome. And yeah, you probably would get attacked from behind while he's getting, you know... Yeah. But yeah, it was just... The zombies were at... Yeah, okay, I said it right. You said it right. All right. The zombies were, like, horrible at attacking people from behind. Yeah. Like, Paquito was... They walked right past her to the lawnmower, Mm -hmm. and... And he's like mowing around while people are behind him. And they're like, there's like 800 opportunities when they were walking around the kitchen. And when. But if they get you from the front, they'll tear your rib cage out. You know? Yeah. So it's like, well, yeah. you can get them from the, from the behind. And then, and, then all, and then the head gets kicked over to the kitchen where Paquita's at, and she does the head blender. Yeah. yeah. The blender head. <laughs> I almost thought we were going to see that baby in a blender. It didn't happen. Oh, uh, well, that baby kept going around. I, know, I know. Baby was, yeah. Little sloth was. Oh, Popular, annoying yeah. little baby. So that's what was the next death scene I have was the baby in the face. Yeah, of, uh, makes your face open. Yeah, who? What was the what? Fa- whose face was that again? That was the girl that um she looked at that Paquita was trying to. Protect. Oh, we got bit in the neck, right? Yeah, she looked like a hipster girl. Oh yeah, all but, the styles are coming back. Yeah, but like before that, the the baby followed the uncle downstairs, and then the mom came out of the ground finally, and and uh, uh-huh. tore the uncle's oh, spine yeah, off. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And so he comes up with a head on the spine, looking yeah. like, looking like Henrietta from Evil Dead Two. Yeah, exactly. Henrietta. There, I did it again. I there did, it, did again. it again. You had to relate it. I you went to Evil to Dead Two. Then Paquita. Let's just okay. Shameless for a moment. That looked like Henrietta from Evil Dead Two. They also chopped off his hand in the beginning, like Evil Dead Two, and then they also chopped off the zombie's hand, which picked his nose for him, which reminded me of Evil Dead 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They put a pill on top of the baby, which reminded me of Evil Dead 2. Mm-hmm. And then he also, at the end, was hanging from his belt from the roof, which reminded me of Army Darkness. Yes. From the <laughs> chain. I just, let me just get that out of the way. Yeah, get that, get that off your chest. <laughs> we got it all. We got it done with now. <laughs> and the bloodcock scene slightly reminded me of the cellar scene in Evil Dead 2 with uh, Jake, Danny Hicks going in there. Oh yeah, you know, the, oh, there's the, all the blood coming off. Oh, from yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the fire hose of blood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which was an actual fire hose of blood, confirmed by Danny Hicks. Yeah, in our interview in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, so then Paquita smashes the the spine she, on the counter. She or rips it off. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Rips and off and then smashes, smashes the head on the counter. Yep. So then, uh, oh yeah. So the the baby face was after that, right? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. The hipster baby face. Yeah. Pulls her face apart. I actually was thinking in my head when Lionel took her to the zoo. I was like, yeah, that outfit, oh, that, that outfit's coming back these days. Yeah. It was like a cardigan with a tie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, my wife buys that shit for like, me now. Like 50s greaser type. Oh, uh, yeah. dude, I, I'm down with that, though. I'm down with going back to the 50s greaser style. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Roll, roll up your jeans, you know. And yeah, and wear, tight the, wear the Chuck Taylors and. I don't have enough hair to grease at all. That's a shame. I have no hair to grease, so... Oh, but you know what? It's contradicting the beard growth I have going right now. And Rudy, too. Yeah. Yeah, you guys guys got massive mountain men beards here. Rudy, yours is... Yours is solid. Yours is strong. Oh, man. It's It's sexy. Dude, is that the longest you've ever had it? No. I didn't think so. It went down to the middle of my chest. It did? Yeah. Wow. When I lived in Oklahoma. I guess I didn't see that. This might be the longest I've seen it. For sure. Yeah. yeah, me and Rudy have beards going, but his is definitely shaming mine right now. He got past the homeless stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's entering the homeless stage right now at about a little bit. I'm Where's clean cut, guys. About so. the, the brawny no man. worries here. The brawny man the stage. Pa- the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> brawny, yeah, the, the guy in the paper yeah. towel. That's true. Yeah. I'll go put a flannel on and... Yeah. Then you'll be then like we'll really be <laughs> spitting image of the brownie guy. Yeah. Like Step Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this Brooklyn like the beard? Yeah. My wife yeah. is tolerating it too. She's like, you can keep growing it, that's fine. It's yeah. like, all right. All Especially right. like it when you go down on, on her and then it's uh, like. She hasn't really said yes or no on nice that. Yeah, it might be a little itchy though. Flavor saver. Yeah. Flavor saver. Yeah. Yeah. The stash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So then, uh, oh, well, all right, well, we're keeping going here. All right, so we're pretty much, we're almost there. So baby face, uh, and the mom comes out. Yeah, oh, the mom comes yeah. out. With massive old lady sag boobs. Saggy yeah. boobs and big old butt. <laughs> yeah. Half a face. Those were some nasty boobs. Huge mom, God. Yeah, that was, yeah. Ugh. So she's the only one left. Mom, 
Mums left, and they're, they she chased them up up the stairs, yeah. which was funny watching her walk up the stairs. Fat uh, cellulose butt too. Yeah. <laughs> Big fat butt. And then pulls him back in the womb. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Sucked him back in the womb. Of course, oh. then then he has his uh, star not star necklace. Yeah, that thing was sort of dumb. Knife. I mean, it, I guess it served his purpose. His medallion. Mm-hmm. His medallion. Yeah. Uh, I don't really even see how he cut through her stomach with it, but it worked. It was like a big gape. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, and then and then Ooh. well, there was like like a pointy tip on the medallion. Yeah. And then of course the blood flood happened again. Another blood cut, flood cut yep. through. Tons of blood. R- r- and then, r- r- blood. <laughs> then at the end, everyone comes in the fire. And then he, he like throws the thing like three feet. It looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he starts throwing. He's like, no. She's like, no. And then he. And then he actually then he throws, throws it, it, but it looks like the weakest little yeah, throw. Yeah, he's like seen. threw it with his left hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it probably just went onto the sidewalk, and now. Like a girl throw. Yeah. Who the fuck else is gonna pick it up? <laughs> so. Some little kid will pick it. We'll pick it up. I don't know. I guess and then, that, and then it ends right there. Yeah, yeah she that puts was the whole it on Ron's movie. waist, and they. They go off in the Neverland. Yeah. Yep. I think that's a wrap on this movie. Yeah. What it, it was a good Dead one. Alive. Yeah. Classic, man. So if we're lucky, we'll get Timothy Baum for an interview. It, I don't know if it's going to be next week or the next week or if he'll, they'll even get back to me, but we'll see. So hopefully they do. We get to talk to him about what that shit was made of that was all over him. Yeah. Oatmeal. And, yeah. Dog food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, we don't know what we're doing next week yet. We're, okay, we're making a pledge to you guys who listen to this to start scheduling series-type episodes. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, we're going to maybe the next, maybe February will be the month of Freddy Krueger. Then, then you know, March will be the month of whatever else. Yeah. Halloween? Halloween. Halloween. Mm-hmm. We'll keep, we'll Jeez. go until we hit all the classics and then we'll, get, the then we'll dig even deeper. Since we just launched the show last month. We'll start with all the classics that a lot of you guys know, and then we'll start digging deeper into the mm-hmm. more obscure films. Actually, sort of such as Dead Alive. I mean, Dead a lot Alive. of people... It's, a, it's a cult popular, cult classic popular movie, but a lot of people don't know about it. But uh, we just need some filler for this month before we move on to whatever series we're going to do next month. So, If you guys watch Brain Dead or Dead, or Dead Alive and haven't seen it, just make sure you have like a little trash can next to you in case you need to like, puke it up, and puke yeah. it up a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for joining us. Check us out at cultclassichorror.com, uh, facebook.com slash cultclassichorror, and Instagram at cultclassichorror. We're on Twitter too at Cult Horror Show. And uh, yeah, Rudy, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes. And yes. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you guys next week. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. <laughs> There will be blood.